In the mid-1950s, tensions were running high between East and West, and Britain needed a plane that could carry a nuclear bomb. In 1956, the RAF took delivery of just such a jet. It was called the Avro Vulcan, and throughout the Cold War, it was Britain's main contribution to NATO's nuclear deterrent, always ready to take off within two minutes of a Soviet attack. But it wasn't until the early 1980s and the Falklands War that the Vulcan was needed in action. This time it wasn't carrying nuclear bombs, but it did set the record for the longest ever bombing mission at the time. Most Vulcans were retired a short time later. This one, XH558, is the last remaining Vulcan in the sky. From 1986 until 1993, it remained in RAF service as a display aircraft. In 2007, now in civilian hands, it took to the skies again following a lengthy restoration. Since that time, the Vulcan has been a favourite of crowds at air shows all over the UK. It has so many facets uh, which appeal to people and different people. Um, the, the just the sheer grace and beauty of it is is enough, I would have thought. But the the performance of it, the agility of it, the fact that it's such a big aeroplane. Um, when when they open the throttles, the earth generally moves, um, and this really seems to be quite a turn on for people. But now this plane is saying its final goodbye. Today it began its last season as a working display aircraft. It's set for one last tour of the country. In the autumn, XH558 will go on display at the Vulcan Aviation Academy and Heritage Centre at Robin Hood Airport, bringing the age of the Vulcan to an end.